In this question, we have a hydrate, which has the formula BeI2 NH2O, where N is a whole number. So you can see here, first we have the compound, which is an ionic compound. Then we have N, which is a multiplier that's a whole number, N sets of H2O. So it's an ionic compound with a certain amount of water together. That's why it's called a hydrate, because it's a hydrated um, ionic compound, or in other words, a hydrated salt. So we're given the initial mass of the sample, that's the hydrated sample, as a 1,540 grams. But it's heated until all the water had been removed, and it had a final mass of 1,210 grams. So what that tells us is that the mass that was lost, that mass is the mass of our water. So our goal eventually here is to figure out the N, what is the whole number multiple of the water molecules in our compound to give us the formula and name of the hydrate. Our first step is to figure out what was the mass of the compound, the salt, the ionic compound, beryllium iodide, and what is the mass of hydrogen in the sample. So to get the mass of beryllium iodide, that's going to be the final mass because the water is all removed and we're just left with that compound, or in other words, that salt, beryllium iodide. So this is going to be the final mass, which here is 1,210 grams. So we can check that. Our final mass was 1,210 grams. The amount of H2O, we can figure out that mass by finding how much we lost from the initial mass, which contained the beryllium iodide and the water, to how much we ended up with just the beryllium iodide. So this is going to be the initial mass minus the final mass, which gives 1,540 minus 1,210. And that gives us 330 grams of water. So there we have the mass of beryllium iodide and the mass of water in the sample. Now we need to figure out how many moles of each are in the sample. To do this, we're going to need to convert from mass to moles using the molar mass. So let's head to our product table. We're looking for beryllium and iodine to start with. So here's beryllium and here's iodine. So beryllium has a relative atomic mass of 9.01. Iodine has a relative atomic mass of 126.90. So we had beryllium with a molar mass of 9.01 grams per mole. And we had iodine with a molar mass of 126.90 grams per mole. So in our compound, we had one beryllium and two iodines because we had BeI2. So that's going to be 9.01 because that's the molar mass of beryllium plus two times the molar mass of iodine, which is 126.90. That gets a molar mass of 262.81 grams per mole for this compound. So that's going to be our conversion factor. Our conversion factor is 262.81 grams of beryllium iodide is equal to one mole of beryllium iodide. So let's go ahead and do our calculation. We've got 1,210 grams in our conversion table. We want grams on the bottom so they'll cancel out and moles on the top. And we're using our conversion factor here, which is that one mole of beryllium iodide equals 262.81 grams of beryllium iodide. And we're gonna multiply everything on the top and divide by everything on the bottom. And we're canceling out our units that are the same top and bottom, which here are grams. So we're left with 1,210 times one divided by 
0.81 moles. So if you put in that in our calculator, which gives us 4.60 moles of beryllium iodide. So we can fill that in our answer box now. Okay, now we need to do the same thing to figure out how much water we had in our compound. So here's hydrogen in our periodic table and here's oxygen. Hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1.01. .01. Oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16.00. So we've got hydrogen with 1.01 .01 grams per mole and oxygen with 16.00 grams per mole. So in H2O we have two sets of hydrogen and one oxygen, which is two times 1.01, .01, the molar mass of hydrogen, plus 16.00, the molar mass of oxygen. That gets us 18.02 grams per mole for H2O. And what that tells us, remember, is that 18.02 grams of H2O water is equal to one mole of water. Now and use this as our conversion factor while we're converting from grams of water into moles of water. So we had 330 grams of water in our conversion table. We're canceling grams out, so they're gonna go on the bottom. Moles are gonna go on the top. We have one mole of water is equal to 18.02 grams of water. We're gonna cancel units on the top and the bottom, multiply everything on the top and divide by everything on the bottom. So that gets us 330 times one divided by 18.02 moles. which gets us 18.3 moles of water, H2O. So let's put that in our answer box up here. So our next step is to find the simplified mole ratio of the compounds. So we know that our ratio of our moles of beryllium iodide to our moles of water, H2O, is 4.6 to 18.3. So we're gonna divide both sides by the smallest number. So I'll divide both by 4.6. And that gives me one on the left. And on the right, I get 3.98, which is very close to four. So I'm gonna say that's a ratio of one to four. So what that tells us is that for every one mole of beryllium iodide, we have four moles of H2O. So that means our N in our compound must be four. And that's the formula of our hydrate. Finally, to choose the name of our hydrate, the name is the name of the ionic compound, which is beryllium iodide. Then we add something hydrate, where the something is the prefix that tells us how many we have. Here we've got four, so it's going to be tetrahydrate, 